It's another great day in Malaysia. We're in Penang again today. And we are about a half hour outside of Georgetown at Entopia, which is a butterfly farm. What about what about these things back here? What are, what are those? We are here to see tons of beautiful and amazing butterflies. Oh, but but look, there's these huge monstrous, I don't know what they are, what giant insects. Let's go look for some butterflies. A tip for you, we bought our tickets on Kluke ahead of time and we saved a couple of dollars on each ticket. And I'm gonna put a link down below. You also get to skip the line, which is always a positive in our book. All right, enjoy your day. Thank you. My first butterfly, right here, right here. Just walked through a cave and emerged on the other side of this very nice waterfall, surrounded by koi fish down at the bottom, and apparently my first butterfly. We are past the waterfall now, and we've gone up just a short walkway and are sort of at our first opening, and there are butterflies everywhere, and I can't even tell you how many kinds we've already seen. There's this brown pair that's kind of playing with each other, there's white with orange tip, there's white, there's yellow. We've seen at least a half a different kinds of butterflies without even moving. They just kind of are playing around us, it's really cool. Looks like they leave out stations to feed the butterflies to encourage them to be near people. And this one is in a shape of a butterfly, which is kind of cool. Short walk through another cave enters us, I think, into nature land, maybe, with this really kind of picturesque dome. This whole area is covered by cage to keep the butterflies in the enclosure. Yes, that was just on my stomach. I did not scream to my credit. It really likes you. moth? It's the biggest butterfly moth thing I've ever seen. I would estimate that this one is six or seven inches wide. Wow. It's kind of a brownish purple in color. We just walked through a grotto area and have emerged onto the Aroma Trail. This particular section is the one I was most excited about because I anticipate that the flowers here are gonna smell amazing. Also, if you come here, you should know that it is even more humid in the butterfly area than it is outside, which we did not expect. So I engaged my personal air conditioning. What'd you do, Bill? I don't know, but it's impressive. <laughs> I got nothing. Actually, I'm pretty sure that one of the first flowers that we're seeing, this one right here, is Heather, which is also my name. <laughs> incredibly difficult to capture these butterflies in film, especially when they're flying around. It's a bit like the advice I was given on a whale watching tour one time. Basically, point your camera in whatever direction and wait until a butterfly pops in the frame. Well, today I would say that the Aroma Trail smells green and fresh, but not necessarily like flowers. There aren't a lot in bloom, there are a few, but I think the scent of them kind of mingles with the overall scent of a forest. I believe that we have entered now the final section, which also is called David's area. And I think I read something online about this being the inspiration for everything. So my guess is that this is the original butterfly garden. Did it land on me? Hasn't landed yet. 
I believe this is the original butterfly farm area. <laughs> And they've saved the best for last. This one has a lot of special features, so I'm excited to walk through it. Well, we just found where the restaurant is. We had a deep fried fish thing covered in a rather spicy sauce and Bill had a nutmeg beverage that tasted like its name. Well, it is about 3.15 and at 3.30, there is a release program of butterflies that have hatched that have not yet taken their first flight. It's back at the start, which I'm not really sure how to get there but I'm really excited to see some brand new butterflies take their very first flight ever. <laughs> this giant butterfly that we just filmed, it is so fast. By the time we're trying to film it, it's already left. It's so big, it looks like a hummingbird. It's giant, it's beautiful, it's sort of red and green, and it is fast. I'm so glad we got it. Oh, it's spicy. This is one of the butterflies that just took its first flight. It's not feeling like it's wanting to fly very much. Just happened to land on someone's finger and here we are. Just beautiful up close. I see so much more detail. Hey, be free. Go. It looks drunk. <laughs> Ta-da! I guarantee this is the most photographed and videoed butterfly probably on the planet. The butterfly release was really cool. That was fantastic. They explain first the different stages of the butterflies and then hand them out to groups depending on how many butterflies that there are. And then on the count of three, everybody releases at the same time and you watch the butterfly. Oh. One just landed on the GoPro, almost. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we Sorry, you couldn't see that. <laughs> we were filming ourselves, not what we're seeing. That's kind of a bummer. Anyhow, the release is definitely something that you need to go to if you come to Antopia Butterfly Farm. We have spent so long filming all the butterflies and everything that there is only one hour left and we haven't seen any of the indoor stuff yet. So that is where we're headed now. One last section. We have not seen this bright yellow one before.
bugs are huge. Whoa. These are huge. Finally got to the promised enormous insects. No. Don't worry, that one's from Brazil. And now we're not going to Brazil. <laughs> Where's that one from? Are we not going to that place either? What is going on down here? This is like a shop. I <laughs> was thinking maybe the downstairs area is for kids. <laughs> it's very educational about different things. I'm not sure what that first room was that we went in though. That just seemed to be like a Bugs Life store. I have no idea. This is really interesting. I think we'll hurry through this next section so we can make it to the shop before it closes. Why is that? No reason. They're about that long each. <laughs> The largest ants I've ever seen in my life are in the first display. Oh my god. All right, Bill, you're up. Creepy tunnel, enter if you dare. I think this is maybe not made for adults. You might want to avoid this whole thing. Yeah, you don't really have to tell me twice. I do not like the creepy crawlies. This is not for me. Pass. Oh my god, they're huge. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, Madagascar. It was nice knowing you. I am happy to report I have never seen so many cockroaches in one place in my life. That was an absolute delight. I think he's talking about the ending, but I thought the butterflies were amazing. This is <laughs> definitely worth your time. Thank you so much for coming with us on a relaxing afternoon in Penang. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>